Hi students, hi everyone. This is Sajid. You are watching Study Studio. So in this channel, you are going to learn something in a different new way. So what does it mean? The topic is global warming. Why this global warming is very important? In this global warming, you can have a kind of idea. That is what for the high school, this topic is very very important. This is a general topic. A ninth and tenth class. This topic may come for the examination point of view for four marks, and for the sixth to eighth class, eight marks question. Why you want to lose the points? So this is a general topic. It's a very very important topic. And now I am going to say you this topic in a simple words. Let us have a glance on this. So according to this topic, we are talking the term that indicates about the global warming. We are talking about the globe, and what is happening here? Warming. What is warming? Globe. So nothing but we can say that global warming. Do you know why it is warming? The proper definition we can learn about it is. heating of the earth because of increase the greenhouse effect what does it mean heating of the earth because of what what it is increasing it is increase of greenhouse effect so it is called the global warming globe is warming what is happening the entire globe is warming it is warming how it is happening because of whom it is happening very simple way to say that anthropologists it's not a different word i think you may heard about this anthropologists and anthropologists who are the anthropologists anthropologists are the human beings <coughs> human beings do you know who are causing not only the entire team but also the human beings are also causing of the global warming so anthropologists we can call as a human beings <coughs> human beings are they are doing what they are doing they are cutting off trees and building and lead to deforestation this may this may cause lead to the deforestation so who are causing children human beings anthropologists you me all are the responsible for the causing of the global warming i think you understood about the definition right next we have the topic of global warming it refers to the heating up of energy earth we already said that and due to human activities and more over the burning of the fossil fuels what is this fossil fuels what is the meaning of fossil fuels petrol what is a petrol gas and more over coal these are the fossil fuels petrol gas coal these are the fossil fuels we all know that human population has increased and nowadays so it is a thing that most probably the people anthropologists are creating the disturbance of climate change so it is a volume where it has been increased it is increase of the fossil fuels are burning because of using of this uh, coal petroleum gas oil all these things are the we can take as the examples of the fossil fuels and moreover increasing the temperature what is happening here increasing of the temperature and overall climate of the planet this is called as a climate change what is mean by climate change it's a kind of a not a small change it is a big change and moreover it is called as a long period of time it is called the long period of time climate change increasing temperature and moreover the changing over all the climate of our planet this is called the climate change and moreover it takes a long period of time long period of time means what it is a climate change now topic of causes actually what are the causes and who are the causing for the global warming just now we have said that the anthropologists who are the anthropologists b human beings are the anthropologists Who are creating the disturbance for the changing of the climate? And now we can see about the causes. 
What are the causes? First, we'll have a glands on CO2 is CH4 and next up N2O. What is this? CO2 means you all know about the carbon dioxide. Next, CH4 means what? You know it is a methane. And next, we have N2O. What is the meaning of N2O? N2O means nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide. So why we are talking about these three things? What are the three things? These are the three things are the gases. You know what are the, these three things? These three things are the gases and moreover it releases molecules. What is happening here? Molecules. I hope that you understand in an easy way. So these are the three causes. Carbon dioxide, CH4, N2O. CO2 means carbon dioxide, CH4 means methane and next N2O means nitrous oxide. These are the three gases are the responsible. What happened here? These are the three gases are the responsible for what? For the greenhouse effect. And moreover, this carbon dioxide, what is happening? It is playing an important role to release smoke from the vehicles. Whatever we are using today, the vehicles. Once upon a time, we have only one vehicle for the one home. But whereas today, the generation has changed, the technology has changed. So, if the person in the entire family, if there are the five members, for the five members, they are having the five vehicles. Yes, so this is also the main cause. It means what? They are creating the pollution. Who are creating the pollution? Human beings. Anthropologists are creating the disturbances here. So I hope that you understood about these three things. And next, <clears throat> we have the causes. Mostly like what the molecules of carbon dioxide. It is what it is a gas. And moreover, it is having a tendency to absorb the heat. What the carbon dioxide will do? It will absorb. It will absorb the heat. Right? What it will do? It will absorb the heat. And moreover, next we will talk about the topic of the CH4. What does it mean? It is a methane. What is the methane is trapping? The methane is trapping more heat. Even though we, can, we said that carbon dioxide is absorbing heat. And moreover, we are talking about the methane. Methane and uh, carbon dioxide. There is a quite a relation between these two. And what is that? In the atmosphere, we can see the heat in where? We can see the heat in the atmosphere. And this can result. This methane is very very dangerous. Nowadays, you can see that most of the children as well as the uh, citizens, they are saying what? We are getting headache, we are getting warm thing, we are getting uh, kind of health issues. So that is what uh, having of a warm thing, memory loss problems, facial flushing and moreover the headache. Why it is happening? Do you know that? It is happening because of methane. Methane is playing a key role. Now you understood about this, right? Carbon dioxide is also playing a key role. Methane is also playing a key role. And these both are the common factors. And next, we have about the, uh, more than the methane, it has a 28 times greater than global warming. How many times? It is a 28 times greater than the global warming. And moreover, it is a potential than the carbon dioxide. Okay, right. Next, we have the topic about the nitrous oxide. What is mean by nitrous oxide? Nitrous oxide is a molecule. What is that? Nitrous oxide is what? It is a molecule and it stays in the atmosphere. Do you know how many days it will stay? This nitrous oxide is what? It is a molecule and it stays entirely in the atmosphere the average of 121 years. How many years students? 121 years. It's a long one, you know. It's not a short, right? So 121 years, we can say, we can say that the atmosphere in the nitrous oxide is strained and moreover it may damage the crops and moreover the human health also already we have discussed about the methane the gases which are the molecules uh, that are creating the problem for the human beings but also here nitrous oxide is also the same what is happening here it may damage the crops and moreover the human health and this is happening and it is a key contributor to the changing of the climate so we have discussed the entire all the things and what are the three things what is affecting? These are the three causes. What are they? Once again, we have a glands. Carbon dioxide, CH4, N2O. Right? Carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide. What are these three? These are the three gases. Which are... These are the three gases which are causing. What are they? Carbon dioxide, CH4 is methane, N2O is 
nitrous oxide these are the three gases what is it mean what is they are doing they are playing a key role contributed to the change of the climate and more one these are the three other gases which are releasing the molecules right i hope that some of them have not understood right so once again i am going to say in a simple thing that this is what this is a globe this is what this is a globe and what is happening here co2 methane nitrous oxide this is one this is the sun so what is happening this sun may release the solar radiation it is releasing the energy and again after that it is not going back it is not going back what is happening here this is releasing the solar radiation but it is not affecting so what who is stopping here you know these are the three gases these are the three gases due to entering of the molecules here it is not absorbing co2 methane nitrous oxide carbon dioxide methane and nitrous oxide these are the three gases which what is happening here it is stopping to <coughs> it is no it is absorbing so what is happening here sun is releasing it is what it is a globe what is happening here sun is releasing the solar radiation again it is not going up so these three are stopping it okay whenever it is releasing the energy the energy it uh, again it is not going back so because of this three are the gases which are stopping to uh, making up the globe as what is happening here it is warming it is more warming so because of releasing of all this uh, pollution these gases all these things uh, as human beings are creating and a best example we can say that now after the completion of the school will you go to home if you go to home is it okay but if you cannot go to home and you are going with your friends home then what is happening your parents may be very angry on you is it right or not in the same way it is what is happening here these three are the things these three are the friends which are not uh, affecting that and it is more over it is not observed in uh, the the thing what we are happening here this is giving the solar radiation and again it is not going back it is incoming is there but there is no outgoing is there so this is a simple way to understand right next at the final stage we have the steps to reduce global warming what are the steps to reduce the global warming we can say that plant more trees what we have to do planting of more trees that is nothing but afforestation planting of trees is known as afforestation the first step we have to plant the trees and next turn off your electronic devices when not in use turn off your electronic devices simply will waste the energy while going out we are in the kitchen or doing something kind of a work so what we are doing we are wasting our energy electronic devices waste of the electronic devices when not in use also okay next tribula we have the topic about this is not the tribula movie just try to understand this what is the tribula reduce reuse recycle reduce reuse recycle these are the three things what we are wasting like water using of the plastic in the soil in the water so all these things in the rivers what is happening here it is not going down it takes much time to observe it and next we we should bring a kind of a awareness awareness in the society if you can't bring the awareness in the society then it will be a common thing to each and every one but what will happen in the coming future this kind of a situation is going to be even more dangerous it is endangered it is a more dangerous situation kind of a problem we face in the future so this is about the end of global warming the globe is warming so this is a easy way to understand children and uh, have a nice day for you hope you understood that if you like this video one or more want any kind of a videos please like share like and subscribe my studio